Good morning, my debt-free divas. We are on to the next two within the debt-free divas budget planner. Having spent a while yesterday sorting out who we owe money to and how much exactly we owe, now's the time to get into the details of each and every debt. So the page we're looking at today is the debt payment plan. And what we need to have is we need to have one of these sheets created for every single debt that we have and then file them in your folder with the smallest to the largest so you start we're tackling the very first um, debt and it's going to be our smallest debt so I'm going to fill in an example one for you now from one of the debts that I have my creditor is actually it's actually myself it's um it's my business because money has been borrowed from the business. So that's mind mapping expert is my creditor. And this is due back on the first of every month. The amount that I am due back is £3,000. I borrowed £3,000 from my, sorry, that should be in there, £3,000. And that is to my tax account because that's where I borrowed that money from. Uh, it doesn't have a tax rate because uh, an interest rate because I borrowed it from myself. The target payment date, well, it needs to be paid by the first of the fourth, but next year. I've actually got a whole year in order to pay this back. My minimum payment due is £250. I know that if I pay back £250 every month, then this £3,000 will be paid off by its due date. I just took the amount that's owed and I divided it by how long I've got to get there. The starting balance is, of course, £3,000. £3,000 divided by 12 months is £250 per month. And I could go really slowly and just commit to paying £250 per month, but I am going to get really intense about clearing my debts and I want to clear this as quickly as possible. So today, which is the 24th of the 3rd, I started with a £3,000 balance and I've already made a £100 payment, which means my next balance is £2,900. And that was um, cash in hand that I paid into the bank. So this morning I popped out to the bank with all the cash that I could scrabble together, put that into the account and I've transferred it across this debt. So I'm already sitting at 2,900. I know that come the 1st of April with my balance at 2,900, I'm going to make a payment of £250. And of course, that will set me a new balance and I can continue paying it down. But even if I decide to pay a £15 and a £10 at the end of the week and I manage to make £70 on my side hustles, every time I make a payment, I can create a new balance in order to make sure that I pay this off as quickly as possible. My plan is, of course, that this £3,000 get paid off much faster than 12 months time. I'm going to be putting my head down. We are going to sell everything that we can in our house. We're going to make sure that this is one of our targets that we just get done, dusted and cleared because we want to be there uh, having no debts in the future so that everything is back where it needs to be because of course this is money that I've taken out the tax account for not this year's but next year's tax that's going to be due and I want to make sure that that money is there because you don't want to make, mess with the tax man so even though I can make my regular payments I'm committing this is what's in my diary and my budget that I'm going to make a payment of 250 pounds on the first of every month against this debt I'm also going to make sure that because it's my focus any extra money that I can send over and above uh, my budget gets thrown for that debt immediately, just that debt. I'm only going to focus on that one until it's clear. When that one's clear, I file this page and I go on to my next biggest debt and I'll do exactly the same. This is just a way of me tracking exactly what the balance is because I can pay off this debt at any point. I can transfer money against it. And the aim is then to try and get the balance down to zero, of course, 
as quickly as possible. So go and print off a debt payment plan for each and every debt that you have. Put your, uh, your details in at the beginning. Work out when the due date is, which date does the money come out of your account? What is the target payment date? When would you love to have it paid out by? What is the minimum payment that you are due? Your starting balance and get that in so that you can start overpaying on these debts by a big amount or by a little amount, whatever it is, but you need to be tracking that each and every step. It's also really motivating. I don't think anybody really touches on this, but it's amazing how much more excited you get about these little overpayments of your debt than the regular payment that comes out, because that's just another bill to pay. But when you get to the end of the week and you've managed to squeak £15 out of your budget, your food budget, or you didn't spend on petrol this week, so you're putting a tenner's worth into your, um, into your debt repayment, you really begin to see movement very, very quickly. It becomes almost addictive to find out how many round pounds you can send over on accounts day. And I'd always try and do my accounts on a Friday or a Monday. And just gets really addictive throwing those little additional little sums of money over because they make such a difference in the end I would say we probably get more excited about making the overpayment on a debt than we would in say taking the 15 pound and, and ordering a takeaway or uh, 10 pound in order to go around to the ice cream shop and buy ice cream you know we are so focused now on getting this clear that those little sums of money are the ones that get us most excited. And this is where you're able to track this. You're able to create notes to say, you know, 15 quid saved from food fund. Didn't put petrol. Sold a treadmill. You know, it gives you a record of those little decisions that you made throughout the month that meant you were able to make overpayments on your, your debt. This one, of course, is just a regular payment that will come out on the first. The aim is to get this starting balance paid off as quickly as possible. And that's going to mean making lots and lots of small overpayments on one debt. Now, here's the thing. You could decide that you've got £50 left over at the end of the month. And what you're going to do is you're going to share that out amongst the five debts that you've got. And you're going to pay £10 off of each debt. But somehow that's not nearly so exciting as going all in and focusing really tightly on one debt, one debt only. It simplifies the decision making. Anytime you have a spare pound, that spare pound is allocated to this debt because you want that done as quickly as possible. And when you start getting excited about seeing that, that coming down and down and down and down, you start looking for other ways of earning money. Uh, are you going to babysit? Are you going to uh, sell some plants that you've raised? Could you go and wash a couple of cars for neighbours this weekend? What about uh, selling some stuff on Facebook Marketplace or setting up an Etsy store or uh, selling some stuff on eBay or going for a car boot? Because the decision of what to do for the money that you earn is now made for you. Every single penny gets paid off against the first, the smallest debt that you're gonna tackle. So your homework for today is to go and print a debt payment plan sheet for every single debt that you have on your debt list and get all the details marked out so that you're ready to make your payments and start with uh, filing them in the folder, smallest to largest, because we're gonna work on the smallest one first. And we are gonna get fierce. You know, this is real talk. You're only going to get debt free when you begin to get really intentional about every penny that you've got. Every penny can either buy you an experience now or freedom in the future. And maybe it's worth in 2022 that we just focus on getting our finances sorted once and forever, getting rid of the debt so that every single penny that rolls forward from that point is ours to pay 
and to spend as we see fit. That's what financial freedom is for me. It's no one else having any control over any of the money that I bring in. I decide how to spend my money. I decide where to spend my money. I decide when to spend my money because I'm taking decisions now that will enable me to do that in the future. So one sheet for every debt. Let's get it filled out. Let's go and make sure that we've got somewhere to go and start recording these little debts. And of course, you continue making the minimum payments on all of your debts, but you focus on the smallest one. Every single penny that you can scrape together or you can generate gets thrown at this debt until it is gone. It is paid and you're on to the next one, the next one, the next one, and the next one. Because when all those minimum payments go away, you've got so much more money left in your pocket at the end of the day, the week, the month, or that pay period. So there's your homework for today. Debt payment plan. Make sure you go and print one out for each and every debt that you've got. Get it filled and then let's get busy. Let's see how many different ways you can come up with of making these additional payments off against your debt. This is going to be so worth it when you get to the end and you are debt free and all the money that you have coming into your house is yours to spend as you see fit. See you later, guys. Bye.